Hello and welcome to the Luxury Guy, your online guide to luxury goods. In today's segment, I hope to show you some beautiful Cartier clocks. Now the first clock I'm going to show you is a Cartier mechanical clock. This is one of the first mechanical clocks that Cartier released in the 70s. Cartier did make clocks in the 20s, 30s, um, and also in the 50s and 60s, but with the musty Cartier name, the first um, series in under the musty Cartier name was the mechanical timepieces. And this is a beautiful blue timepiece. Um, now it's a mechanical piece, boxed piece. Very, very nice condition this piece here. I bought this a couple of months ago from a dealer in Brisbane. The next piece I'm going to show you is based on a Cartier tank watch. And it's the Cartier tank clock. Now this piece here came out in the early 80s and um, it is very similar. It's based on the, the Cartier tank wristwatch and as you can see here it's a very attractive piece. These pieces here um, were fairly expensive in their day like most Cartier items and uh, this one here is in very nice nice condition here. The third piece I'm going to show you is a Cartier Santos clock. Now this was based on the popular Cartier Santos wristwatch. The Santos came out in the late 70s uh, and this clock here came out in the early 80s. Um, it's a quartz piece. Um, the mechanical movement was dropped in the, in the early 80s in favour of the quartz piece because quartz was all the rage then and uh, as you can see here this piece is also in very nice condition and uh, it's it's a very cute cute curio to have if if you've got the the Santos wristwatch and finally I'd like to show you the the latest piece in my collection which is a Cartier personal line clock this is from the early 90s the personal line clock was actually a limited edition it was only run for a short period of time it's very 90s when I first uh, saw this clock, I thought, "Wow, it's never going to date." But I think it, I think it's it's aged gracefully. It it does look very 90s, but that's that's that that's not to say that's a bad thing. And I and I think this this clock here is a it's a very weighty, heavy clock, and um, I'm certainly very proud to have this piece in my my collection there. Thanks very much for watching this clip, and I hope you've enjoyed it. And please keep the questions coming. And if you've got any comments please feel free to email me and I'll do my best to answer you. Thank you.